Hi everyone and welcome back for a quick snack size episode in Unreal Engine 4 tutorials. In this episode we're going to continue our run of explaining blueprint nodes and look at the get and set actor locations and look at what they are accomplishing and why would we want to use them. We use these nodes quite a lot in game development because we need to constantly know where the uh, certain characters are or actors are rather and be able to set their locations accordingly. So let's look at, look, look at the get actor location first of all. So the get actor location is a simple node where it takes one target and outputs a return value of a vector. A target refers to the actor that we want to get the location of. By default, it's going to target itself, meaning this entire actor that it belongs to. So if I was to uh, plug in this into a begin play, notice that you cannot connect it up to a begin play. This is because a get actor location, or most get nodes, don't require an execute line. Instead, to be able to show this in action, we're going to put in this into a print string. Oh, sorry. Print string. And plug that in like so. And it'll convert this, will convert a vector into a string, so we can display it on the screen. Click compile and push play. You'll see the location coordinates of this pickup actor. So this can be used very useful if we want to test where things are in the world. But what about when you want to change them? Well, a set actor location is what comes in handy. So a set actor location will change base uh, or sorry, will change the location of the actor that has been targeted. So by default, the target is itself. However, this could be any actor you wish. Its new location could be any value you type into here, or you can plug in a variable as such here. The other inputs are two booleans, a sweep and teleport. In the outputs, we have a sweep hit result and a return value. So what do these two mean on the inputs? Well, a sweep, if we activate sweep, Basically what it means is it will change the actor's location, but between where it currently is and where it's going to, it will sweep across in like as if it is travelling uh, by normal means, and therefore will trigger all the overlaps that it should, have come, uh, should uh, trigger um, as it moves. So it could be quite useful. Uh, teleport, basically uh, teleport the physics state of the actor to its new location. So for example, if something's going through a portal, you want it to teleport into another portal, you want it to come out with the same physics state that it's gone into to give the full effect. The sweep hit result, when you enable sweep, this hit result will give you loads of information about what it's hit along the way. So I can right click on this and choose split and get loads of information about its collision data. I can recombine this by right clicking and click re recombine. This return value returns true if it was location was successfully set. Okay, so if the set lo location was successful, this will return true. If it, it wasn't successful, for whatever means that could be, this will return false. So let's see this in action. I'm going to do a begin overlap. and plug it in like so. So when I overlap this actor, I want it to teleport or move away from its current location. That location, for now, I'm going to leave as 0, 0, 0. Click Compile, and let's have a look at what happens. So if I walk into this uh, actor here, you can see it's teleported over to here. It hasn't actually teleported, it has moved very, uh, basically very fast in, what, in a single frame, moved from one location to the other. If I hit walk into it again, nothing will happen because it's already at its new location at 0, 0, 0. So it gives the illusion that it hasn't moved. But as I said, you can put in a variable into its new location. So let's, uh, let's uh, play about with a few, thing, few things here. Let's get the actor location node. And plug that into the new location. Now the character location, instead of using self, I'm going to get the player's character and plug that in as the target. So now it's going to get the location of the player. So when I collide with it, I, 
want it to change its location based on a certain distance away from the player. So I'm get active location, this vector here, I want to alter this slightly. So if I go into here and plus vector plus vector and connect it up like so, I can add a value into these as such. I can type in random and get a random vector. I can just type in some values. So let's type in some values. So this is always going to spawn 50 units away. In fact, I want to make the Z zero so it doesn't go flying off into the air. So if I click compile and push play, if I walk into it, it will teleport 50 units away. Oop, there we go. Okay. Pretty, pretty simple. Nothing special. But there we go. There's a get and set at a location. We use them quite a lot, so you'll see them popping up in a lot of code, especially my ones, uh, for various uh, tasks. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to support me and see other videos such as this and many others, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley and you can subscribe for just as little as a dollar to get access to these videos, as well as our Discord where you can join a growing community of game developers who are helping each other out and sharing each other's work. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.